Is Bitcoin going to fall to $9,600? What? You wanna know the last information about the crypto world? Yes? Then smash that like button, cause it's time for crypto news fan on the right. Crypto a tope. Bitcoin was going up like the rocket from Tesla, from Elon Musk. It was going to space, but eventually it started going down and that was no good. And this is what happened with Bitcoin. We were in a rocket going up and then it exploded and we are going down with sad faces all over. Now, breaking the line of $28,000 and just praying to have $27,000 as the line of support. Remember, we had the gap of the CME and it's closed already in the $28,000. And if we go lower, we have homework to do in the $20,000 range. So you think we are going all that way down? We have this line we draw in the last crypto news where we talk about those $20,000 making sense. And remember that we talk about April 2021 and how we started going down from 14th April. And this is the same story we're having right now. If we do the same, we should go to 24,500. Remember, this is not financial advice. I have no clue what's going to happen, but we are following that path right now. And here, Benjamin Cohen now saying some stories that we're talking about for a long time here in Fun on the Right. He's comparing Bitcoin uh, last uh, going down to the moment we are right now. So if that's the situation, remember, we are doing the same here in Fun on the Right. And we are losing that part right now. So maybe we started our way down. And if we do the same going down, that's where we find the thumbnail, the title of today's video. How we should go, how we can go to $9,000, to $9, $10,000, something like that. And you can see that this is uh, the same pattern we have there. Now we might have it again and go as low as $10,000. And there's where we have the last of those gaps in the CME future. So maybe this is the picture for Bitcoin in the next months. That would be April 2024 when we rock bottom with Bitcoin. And we don't like to see this picture. And I'm going to have some comments saying, don't talk about this. But man, this is something that may happen. So we should be prepared for that too. Now, if we zoom out, with the monthly chart, well, you can see that if we are following the 2021 path, well, it's going to be bad in April, but it's going to be worse in May and even worse in June. And the worst is yet to come. It will be July 2023, maybe the moment where we go to that $10,000 area. We'll see about that. But Anyways, if we consider the last theories, we talk about the halving event. Well, we can't go that low. Remember that uh, the worst scenario would be uh, the same path we had for the third halving. And that would bring Bitcoin to that $20,000 range, but not lower, not to the $10,000 range. So this is something for the optimism. Remember, you have this video in Spanish and in English. And you can watch everything about that theory about the halving event. And everything depends on the dollar. Right now, still playing with our hearts in this line of resistance, but not going lower. We don't like that. ASEAN markets doesn't like it either. Neither gold. Everything is going south today, but the dollar. But more for the optimism, remember the EMAs. And this cross we having to have with 21 and 50 uh, daily averages. And we should go higher. Why? Because the last times we had this same pattern, we went up, 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 and up every single time we did uh, go up. So maybe this is for the optimism. And also, Pladisu just helping us with that attitude, saying, can you show me, please, a cleaner parallel channel than the one we have for Bitcoin? 
So if this is true, we eventually have to go above the line again, go inside the parallel channel and rise at some point the top. That would be a lot of money for just one single Bitcoin. And here, remember also that even though we are in the red in the monthly candle, we're still above the moving average of 50 in the monthly chart. And maybe we are just emulating this moment here where we had some red and then started going up again. Hopefully so. Elon Musk telling us we have to learn about all those fiascos as he learned about the explosion of its rocket. And now he said that it's true that he's paying some of the blue dots of those verifications on Twitter to three uh, personalities, Solo Shatner, LeBron and King. They don't want to have it, but he's paying with his own money for that verification. That's crazy. As crazy is that stablecoin we told you about in last crypto news. Now everybody's saying that the code behind it is terrible, so centralized, and it's worth nothing. So we'll see about the CBDCs, if they work in the future or not. And here you have a different idea for your mind. Have you ever thought this way about dollar with the S symbol of selling and Bitcoin? with the B symbol for buying, that's a very good one. And also for the optimism, K33 Research telling us that they believe we are following the path we did in 2019-18. So if that's true, we are not going to go down. We're not going to go to 9,600. We're going higher and soon we will emulate this line and maybe we'll be like in tops in very, very little time, $40,000 in May. We'll see about that. We keep on developing this technology, like for example, now with Azure in Microsoft, uh, the users can now integrate real-time blockchain data into businesses' processes, which is awesome. We need it now with AI more than ever. And also maybe it's good that Tether is minting another billion of those USDTs on Ethereum as the stablecoin is dominating the market. And we have this chart here from Philbill telling us that uh, all the times that, if the, that USDT is minted, then the price of Bitcoin goes higher. So maybe this is a good sign too. But the market is in the red. We have a lot of volatility. And talking about volatility, maybe you want to take advantage of it. So I remind you, that the Bitpanda exchange just launched its new leverage future called Bitpanda Leverage. I leave you all the information you need in the description in a link. Bitpanda is an all-in-one platform. I leave you the link in the description so you can try it, collaborating with fun on the right. If you want to buy, sell cryptocurrencies, make a staking, invest automatically, learn about new interesting projects, or have your own crypto card, Bitpanda is your exchange. Simple and regulated with licenses in all the countries in which it operates, registered here, for example, in Spain at the Bank of Spain. With this new leverage, you have a simple regulated way and with 0% purchase commission to make your investment with leverage, a strategy with which you can increase the potential performance of your investments but beware also, of course, the risks. But they have just a for one or maximum a for two in those operations, 2x, 1x. So it's not the insane leverage that you might find in other exchanges uh, all out there. You can choose between 11 of the top cryptocurrencies and 10 possible positions. The mechanism is very simple as you are not buying the token, but CFDs, contracts for differences. Your position will be closed automatically if we drop to a 50% loss. The maximum loss is the amount invested. A good way, in my opinion, to learn uh, from the people that is uh, curious about leverage. Uh, they want a so simple solution. And also, it's a very comfortable tool for expert traders. I leave you the link in the description and also the associated risk disclaimer. If you register in Bitpanda with it, you're indirectly collaborating with Fun on the Right. So thank you so much for that. 
The bubbles are in the red and the most important cryptos are in the red today. So let's just find optimism talking about prob probable airdrops uh, to come, like CK Sync. We'll see about that one. Also, I'm so interested in Lens Protocol. I have to work on that one too, just in case. And our friend Inviders told us about ARB Doge AI airdrop. Just follow our friend Inviders in Twitch. You have the link in the description too. And uh, what is this ARB Doge? Well, be careful with scams, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, for me, it has no use at all. It's uh, well, I don't know uh, some uh, token with no use, but uh, maybe you have some money there for free. I got twelve dollars right now at the price of the token that it's going down crazy again. But uh, maybe you can check it there and see if you have that money. Ethereum is going down from the point we didn't want it to go down and just going to uh, meet the 1,700 line as we talked yesterday. And we are so concerned about the probable double top pattern that we have that will uh, make Ethereum go south. And now with Gary Gensler, remember past video, here we have a video where he said in the past that Ethereum is not a security. Said regardless of what it might have been in 14, it's now sufficiently decentralized that we'll consider it not a security. Not a security. So why in this Congress hearing he wasn't able on saying that again? Remember, you have everything about that story in last video. Watch them all. And we're still happy with Ethereum because we have more coming in into the smart contract that going out. So that's awesome. And we are not happy with Litecoin going down from the $100 line. The market is neutral, but we are being more and more concerned. As an ancient Bitcoin well awakened and abruptly moved $60 million in Bitcoin. That's not a good thing. Also, bad news for uh, the founder of Terra, do know. Uh, he was accused of using false documentation in order to leave a country. And allegedly, probably this is fake news, but he had a treasure inside his butt. <laughs> Again, this might be fake news, but so funny if it's true. Well, not for him. Our expert Steph, developer from Tornado Cast, is waiting for trial, but it's at home. So remember all this controversy about uh, this coin join, uh, he was put into jail and uh, we have there the controversy. If this is a wrong decision because we have free of speech in United States or not. So again, they are blaming the creator of a tool, but we believe they should blame uh, people using it for a wrong use. Like the knife, it's uh, a tool and you can use it for good things or bad things. In Europe, we have finally regulation. The MICA is going to be effective since 2025. And right now, the community is allegedly finding this a good piece of information because we compare this with United States where they don't have regulation at all. Remember last video. So here at last, uh, at least the companies know uh, what to expect and uh, they don't have the fear that uh, they are going to change rules or that they don't even know what those rules are. So good for Europe. Also, if you have the license uh, for one country, you can operate in all the union uh, in Europe. So maybe that's a good thing too. And this will bring, even though we are terrible in Spain for regulation, maybe this will bring more crypto industry in our countries. We'll see about that. If you want to learn more about it, go to CL Crypto on Twitter. Our friends, they will tell you everything about it. You have an interview with Jaime Arenas talking in Radio Inter Economy, in My Economy, the show where they talk about crypto, and you will learn everything about it. What to expect? Well, we have that frame, not for NFTs, not for DeFi, but we also are waiting for some regulation in, in those areas too. 
Again, we will learn about that in CL Crypto, in YouTube, of course. And remember, now we're talking about regulation, that we have to do our taxes for crypto. This is mandatory, and you're going to need a tool. I use this one called Coin Tracking. Don't wait till June because you'll have no time. It's not easy to do, but you can not do it probably without coin tracking. You have the link in the description, 10% discount. Or maybe you want to use tax down. Uh, they gave away and we had the winners already for those prices. If you didn't win, uh, if you didn't win, well, it's okay. You can follow them on Twitter in case they have another giveaway. And also, you can go to app.taxdown.es and there you can start. You have the link in the description with your uh, tax report for this year. In the DeFi ecosystem, we are below $50 billion. We don't like that. And we have some good news. Like, for example, Mattel, they are launching their own NFT marketplace for Hot Wheels, which is awesome too. And talking about ATMs, Australia has more ATMs for Bitcoin that the whole Asia as a whole. Crazy stuff in Spain, in Europe, the king is BitBase. Go to BitBase.es if you want to buy some crypto there, but also you have stores and ATMs all over the place. Like right now, for example, you have again an ATM Bitcoin in Ibiza, in the dot, it's between Burger King and Tagliatella restaurant. So everybody's going to be able of watching Bitcoin there. Thank you very much, BitBase. Uh, if you want to have your own ATM, I leave you the link in the description. You can do it uh, with our friends. Thank you very much. And now about AI, this piece of information, uh, the family from Michael Schumacher is going to um, make a lawsuit because uh, this media said they had an interview from this poor guy, remember the accident, etc., etc., and uh, it's false. So now we can see that for fake news, etc., it's been easier uh, and everything more confused with AI. Now, with the music, remember all the story we told you about Drake's? Now, also, we have a cover uh, with Kanye West and Drake's for the Hold On, We're Going Home song. So uh, crazy that you don't uh, know, you can't feel the difference if Drake or if Kanye West is singing or they are not. Crazy for the industry. And talking about music and about crypto, let me tell you about Satoshi Psychologist. Uh, he sent us uh, this song. Thank you very much. <laughs> El Bitcoin es la luz, es el fuego y el calor Sistema de intercambio y de reserva de valor Los scammers al acecho, la ambición no tiene que inventar el disparo So good, more and more riders helping the crypto community with their music Follow Satoshi Psychologist on Twitter I found there something very interesting Like for example, these small miners for Bitcoin Those work allegedly and those are space rockets so cool stuff. Thank you for sharing, Satoshi's psychologist. And now let's find use for our technology. We have here a cat relaxing, having a massage, but at the same time helping us learning some about crypto and things in the world. This cat is a magician and he's trying to make the market turn around so we can go higher. This one is like Cinderella and found a zoo. Oh my God, I don't like it. <laughs> so funny for that one playing already because uh, Weekend is here. This one just fighting with himself because he had bad decisions in the crypto world and he's so mad and wants to fight back. Be careful, do not be your own enemy and have some rest. Enjoy the weekend, but do not FOMO into uh, things to do. Maybe this weekend you can just have a little break and sleep a lot. If you want to learn Spanish, you can watch this very same video in our primary channel, Fun on the Ride. If you want more in English, just wait till next Crypto News, Fun on the Ride. Health, money, love, party in peace. The best is yet to come in crypto atope. To the moon!